Yo, what up? What up? What up, YouTube? So today's video, man, we talking about the best cheap fragrance house to start your collection with. Now, somebody asked me to do a video off, uh, you know, talk about houses like Perry Ellis and stuff like that. Now, those houses are cool, but I have a house with me today that it's cheap. Most of these fragrances in this house is under $35. And I believe I have all of them except one. And uh peace, bro. And uh I think I got all of them in this house, maybe except one. Um, but before I get the video started, I want to say shouts out to everybody that went and checked out my my shop on Macari. Um, Macari is like a third-party app where you can sell stuff on there. So uh Macari, I've been selling like the last of like most of my designer fragrances. Um, and so far I opened up my shop yesterday. And as I'm looking at this live right now, uh, we have made over a thousand and fifty six dollars. So shouts out to everybody that went and checked out the store. I don't know if anybody has brought something from me. Um, shouts out to them. I don't know who has copped anything from me, but we over one K in sales. Uh, my goal was to hit 1K and just mostly like the last of my designer fragrances and with some um, some Middle Eastern ones up there as well. But everybody's not up on the Middle Eastern fragrances, so I don't expect those to sell right away. But definitely my designers. I had a couple of Tom Fords up there as well. And uh, them things is moving, man. Um, but today we are talking about um, a fragrance house called Frank Olivier or Frank Oliver. Now, most of these fragrances can be found on Amazon under 35 dollars uh and most of them some of them are clones i believe some of them are trying to clone some uh major designer brands in the game today but if you just starting out and you want to and you want to start your collection off right or you might know somebody that's into fragrances or they just getting into them and you want to spend some money on them maybe for like a gift or something these would be perfect so the first fragrance this one in the first house is called blue touch by frank oliver blue touch now, this one is a take on Aqua DGO, the OG, the first release of Aqua DGO. Um, now, Aqua DGO is good, but to me, I wouldn't even waste my time buying the OG today. It doesn't really perform like that. Um, it's really weak now. To me, it would just be like for like nostalgia purposes. But if you want to save some money and if you are a fan of Aqua DGO, I will go with Blue Touch by Frank Oliver. This one is perfect for the office. Uh, everyday use this one definitely you can wear this one with a suit and tie um you know you could wear it about anywhere the aqua dgo dna is 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 hall of fame worthy for as far as fresh sins goes so blue touch all right so the next one in the house i have is night touch this is night touch and like i said most of these can be found under $35 on Amazon. I got these from Amazon. If you could find them somewhere else, I would not pay over $40 for these fragrances that I'm showing y'all in this house. So this is Night Touch. Now, smelling Night Touch. Night Touch is basically Blue Day Chanel. Night Touch is basically Blue Day Chanel, the EDT concentration. And I only say EDT because it does smell a little synthetic off the top. It does, you know what I'm saying? It's not as smooth as the Oda Parfume concentration would be. But I done had so many bottles of Blue Day Chanel, guys. I sold some uh, yesterday. I sold two bottles yesterday. And I wouldn't say that this can replace Blue Day Chanel, but I will say it's a definitely much cheaper alternative. Yes, it is, bro. Yes, it is for the price point. And they, and I mean, they cheap, but they perform as well. So. Night Touch, Blue Day Chanel, EDT Concentration, uh, a nice clone, a nice alternative to it if, uh, you know, you don't want to cut the check. I, I still believe Blue Day Chanel, even the EDT Concentration, is still pushing $100. So, Night Touch right here, guys. Nice alternative. All right. So, that's Blue Touch. You got Night Touch. Next up, we going with Black Touch. Black touch right here. Rati Blue or Masani Wave. Which one is over? No. Tarot. Uh, I gotta say Tarati Blue. 
Masani Wave is okay. I done had that. I sold that bottle. Matter of fact, my Masani Wave came in like a, it came with the full bottle. Then it came with a little small bottle too. I had got it from Macy's. I would take Tarathi Blue over that any day. It projects more. To me, it smells better. Um, Masani Wave smells nice too, but I'm going with Tarathi Blue. Frank, I don't have Blue Nation Alternative. Uh, another alternative that performs other than Blue Day Chanel, I don't really know off the top of my head, man. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure, man. I'm sorry. I would have to definitely look that one up. But um, Black Touch, I'm sorry, guys. Black Touch right here. Now, if you are a fan of, um, no problem, if you are a fan of T.D. Hermes, now to me, Hermes, the first one, the OG, that's one of the most beautiful, fresh, citrus opening, masculine fragrance you can ever buy, yo, for real. The orange in there is crazy. This is a nice alternative to that, but also this one also has a vibe of Encore Noir. So if you have smelled Encore Noir, that fragrance is... It's not for everybody because it has a patchouli note in there that's kind of smell real earthy. It's a real earthy vibe with that Encore Noir. Hermes is a little earthy, but it's fresh. And this just combines the two. Now, Encore Noir is definitely one of them cheaper side. I believe that one might be like $50 around there. But Hermes is still, for a 100 ml bottle of Hermes, the OG, I think it's still pushing like $100 or more, man. So. If you are a fan of Hermes and if you are a fan of Encore Noir, put those two together and you have a nice, earthy, fresh kind of vibe going on with Black Touch, like I said, for like $30, $35. It's good. Everybody's not going to be a fan of the earthiness, but I think when you get past that and you combine the two, you got a solid, um, nice alternative to the Hermes DNA and Encore Noir. So that's Black Touch. That Oud Tuck, bro, I got that right here. I got that right here, bro, Oud Touch. Now, with the Oud Touch, this one is a beast. But I will say, if this is definitely a good starter if you're just getting into the Oud game. But at the same time, this fragrance is not going to be for everybody. This one is not mass appealing. Um, the Oud in this one can lean a little animalic, but I like it. I like it. Give it time to settle down. This one pops. Man, this joint lasts. I get easy. For this fragrance to be like $35, I get easy like 10 hours longevity, and this joint projects two hours plus. So, ooh, touch. If you're just starting out in the game and you want to dabble into the ooh side of things, you might want to check this one out, but like I said, it will not, um, it will not be mass appealing to everybody. And you might not not even like this one, but please give it time. Do not get up, give give up on it. I was shocked. I asked my wife, do she like it? And she said, yes, it shocked me because it does have like a slight animalic kind of vibe when it comes to the ooh. But it projects two hours plus, lasts 10 hours plus, easy on the clothes. Let me see. My thoughts on the Woody Oo. I did put a video up on the channel for the Woody Oo by Mason Alhambra. And I have not fully come around to the, the, the Woody Oo DNA. I will say that. Um, it's something about that kind of scent DNA. A lot of people like it. Um, it's just okay for me right now. I do have a bottle of it. I'm not giving up on it. But um, I'm not the biggest fan of the Woody Oo DNA. I will say that. But people love it. I recommended that fragrance to people. And they have hit me back and say, yo, they like it, man. All right, guys, so just a little recap. We're talking the house of Frank Oliver. Like I said, I have, I think all of them except one, and I think that one is White Touch, but I think White Touch 
is is uh for the ladies. I think white touch might be for the ladies, but we we started out with blue touch, a nice awkward a nice take on aqua DGO, the OG. We got night touch. Nice alternative to Blue Day Chanel, the EDT concentration, if you want to save yourself some bread. All right, Night Touch. We got Black Touch. Black Touch right here is a nice alternative to TD Hermes and Encore Noir. Only reason I bring Encore Noir up in there because there's a slight earthiness to this fragrance, but fresh, real masculine, suit and tie vibes going on with this one for sure. This is Black Touch. Then we went with Oud Touch. If you're just starting out in the game and you want a Oud fragrance for the low, low, $30 to $35, Oud Touch right here. Like I said, but this one is not a mass appealing scent. This one does has slight animalic kind of vibes, but give it time to smooth out and you will like it. Two hours plus projection, 10 hours on the longevity for sure. Last one, this is my baby right here. I have used this juice more than anyone in the collection of the Frank Oliver, and that is Oud Vanelli. This one right here, look how much juice I have used, guys. It's no joke. Winter, fall and winter. Fall and winter time for sure with this one. $35 on Amazon. If you do not have any of these fragrances, I would definitely recommend this one first, and then you want to grab like a fresh one. Uh, from the line, Night Touch, Black Touch, or Blue Touch, go ahead and grab, go and cop up. I definitely recommend you get this one first for sure. This one is the more mass appealing one over Oud Touch. All right. This one is more mass appealing than this one. It, you might get more compliments with this one, but this one is still good. But this one right here has the vanilla take on it, Oud up in here. I think it might be like rose up in here too. There's a lot of good notes going on with this one. And this one is a banger. This one is like a, they both are beast mode. Ooh, touch and ooh, vanilla. But this one right here, um, man, I got, I can go on and on about this fragrance, guys. But solid one right here, man. A beast. I know, I know. Bro, this one is crazy. This one is definitely crazy. And uh, look at what that level of juice, I don't be playing with this one. <laughs> Which one would be that? Oh, we're strong. I'm going with Stronger with You. Teron J, Stronger with You, absolutely. I love the um the the, the Louis one, but I'm going Stronger with You, absolutely for sure. Guys, it's not a game. So that was Frank Oliver, man. Like I said, I got all of them except White Touch. White Touch is thing. I think more leaning towards the female side, man. And um, mythic on your recommendation, my mom. Yeah, that one is good, man. I wish it was a. I wish that one was a little bit more masculine. I will be rocking that one more, but it's definitely for the ladies. I uh, appreciate you taking my recommendation up on it, brother. I, I really do. But all right, guys, I'm gonna get ready to close up shop here. Shouts out to everybody that checked out the Macari shop. I posted that one up on the community tab. If you want to check that link out, go and check it out. But that's Frank Oliver, man. That's Frank Oliver, a nice, solid, cheap house. Um, a nice, solid, cheap house, guys. And I appreciate you guys for watching the video. I'm out of here. New videos dropping next week. I just wanted to shed some light on the Frank Oliver house. Most people know, I won't say most people know about it, but um, um, a good deal of people know about the Frank Oliver house. Nice, solid joints. And today, actually, I'm actually rocking this one. Cause I'm a fan of Aqua DGO to OG, but I can't pay a hundred dollars for that juice no more because it just doesn't work. Thirty to thirty-five dollars with this one, and this one will hold you down definitely in spring and summertime. Summertime for sure. This one going to blast off your skin. All right, guys, I'm out of here, man. Peace to everybody. Thank you guys for checking out the channel, man. And I'm gone. Peace, guys. All right. <laughs>